Greetings to you viewers from across the globe. You're welcome to the show Viewpoints, where we discover perspectives and embrace dialogue. I'm your host, Odiawa AI for Video Media. You do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us across various social media platforms. And also, download the video app on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. On the show today, we will be talking about insulating the CBN Act from politics. Now, when we talk about the CBN Act, we're not just restricting it to the regulations that actually dictate the activities of the CBN. And I also say CBN, I'm talking about the Central Bank of Nigeria here. Now, these uh, insulations should also encompass the staff from the helmsman to the least staff of the CBN and also the activities which should also be looked into, modifying or actually checkmating where their limits should get to and they shouldn't exceed those limits. Now, by proposing to enact a bill to amend the empowering uh, law of the CBN, the Central Bank of Nigeria, I mean, so as to insulate the office of the CBN governor and its deputy governor from politics, the Senate recently, the upper chamber, most likely has a top priority as regards, you know, the distortions and vulnerabilities that uh, prevailed in the financial sector before and after the 2023 general elections. Now, if we recall, just uh, not quite long, beginning of this year, actually, even though the year is running out, we'll recall that there was a time when there was scarcity of the Naira, where we couldn't even access our own funds. And when you're not able to access funds, you're handicapped. You can't even pay attention to the basic necessities of life. And before you say, Jack, some people are tensed up, and that tensing up begins to dictate all forms of uh, ill vices which might not be welcome to a sane society. Now, that was terribly, or certainly I would say, a terrible period for the nation as the head of the Apex Bank was seen as being partisan, lending serious doubts on ensuing monetary policies presented by the bank. Now, it's a period that ought not to, at any point in time, ever be reenacted in the nation. And if this move by the Senate, the Red Chamber, is actually a hidden objective, I would say it's a proposition quite merits the support of Nigerians in entirety. Because the proposed amendment here, it seeks to bar the CBN governor and the deputy governor from participation in politics while still serving. Frankly speaking, provisions that appear to have adequately anticipated, you know, and also dealt with this uh, possibility. It was therefore inquisitive and puzzling to most Nigerians when, as at uh, last year, the former CBN governor, Godwin Emefele, threw caution to the wind and picked a hundred uh, million naira for the presidential uh, nomination form of the APC, the All Progressive uh, Congress, I mean. Now, this APC now is a political party. And he got the form to participate in the presidential primary of the party as at last year, 2022. Now, it was at, it, there were speculations that then interest groups which were made up of rice farmers actually purchased the tickets for him. Now, I want to ask a question, and this question is what I need you to whine and dine about in your brains. If in a particular local or jurisdiction, and this local or jurisdiction I mean here is Nigeria, Farmers who are manufacturing or producing food find it difficult to eat. Where could they have possibly gotten a hundred million naira to foot, uh, foot the form for the CBN governor? Secondly, where does uh, the feature of neutrality in the civil service now apply when it comes to the CBN governor, who is now actively participating in partisan politics? while still serving where does the role of neutrality now play which is a feature of the civil service now the cbn had in its course of encouraging rice production declared that it has disbursed 629 billion naira 629 billion naira is not some small figure now these funds were disbursed to farmers in its uh, anchor borrowers program the abp now what actually is the abp the anchor borrowers program as at 2022, is actually to provide or was actually set up to provide loans in kind and in cash to smallholder farmers, farmers rather, to boost agricultural production 
create jobs and reduce food imports bill towards a conservation of foreign reserves. Now the inflow, or rather, I beg your pardon, the outflow of interest and nomination from the allegedly bought by farmers for MFLA became a suspect, not surprisingly though, as the same farmers that were struggling to repay the rice loans unexpectedly had loans to procure uh, party nomination forms. Now, I won't we say this is a circus where people should just listen to what I have just said now concerning reports and it becomes laughable. Now, going over to the uh, regulations concerning the CBN Act, Section 9 of the CBN Act of 2007 actually disallows the Apex Bank governor and his deputy from wandering into other additional activities outside their statutory task because at the bank except they resign in writing to the delegating authority the president who is actually the one who has vested that power in them however nigerians watch now this whole incident this whole scenario with extraordinary distress as the former cbn governor Emefilo gleefully embarked on what May I or my part will call an excursion into the planet of uh, partisan politics. It's quite, uh, you know, absurd. And there's one thing I love Nigerians for. Kudos to us. I would relate to the uh, musician's uh, song, Fela Nikola Kokuti. He said, Nigerians are always suffering and smiling. Even in that pain, Nigerians still smile. It's, you know, quite an irony and it's funny. Now, despite the fact that Emefele did not pursue his presidential ambition to, logic, to some logical conclusion, as the forms allegedly purchased for him were not even submitted to the party headquarters for possible processing, that really didn't uh, shield the institution of the CBN and its values from ridicule in the eyes of the people. Now, particularly as Emefele had embarked on the on adequate uh, preparations for the campaign materials and vehicles, very much arranged for to launch the campaigns. There had likewise been court processes to secure Emefele's rights to contest the election. Now, securing rights, are you not now going against the regulations of the CBN Act, where you should ink down your resignation before participating in active politics? Now, all of which sufficiently diminished and comprised, you know, the ethos of the bank. The integrity and neutrality of the bank were put to great test and citizens' confidence in the institutions definitely would be weakened. Because you cannot say this is this and then you go against it. Why? Because of your own personal interest. If you know you are serving publicly, the public interest first before your personal interest first. Now, I'm not trying to sound selfish here that your personal needs shouldn't be addressed, but it should not be addressed at the expense of public interest. That's another food for thought we need to wine and dine about. Now, an amendment of the CBN Act to forestall the politicization of the bank is a welcome turn of events, in my own view and opinion. The facts actually confirm that large numbers of the laws of the operations in the country unintentionally implant loopholes that are not exploited by savvy, or rather that are exploited by savvy officials to run away from the soul of the regulations. Because people are actually, being smart is not a bad idea, but how your smartness is being put to use, exploiting people, now it becomes a bad idea. Now, despite the fact that the CBN acts as it were clear on in a infractions, a CBN governor should not countenance a reinforcement of the act, in my own view and opinion once again, is perfectly in order. In any case though, what was obviously missing in the activities of the Apex Bank, and when I mean the Apex Bank now, I mean the CBN, which actually controls every other financial institution beneath it. Now, under MFLA was, uh, was a appropriate uh, corporate uh, administration, where legal instruments are rudimentary corporate of administration. It actually guarantees that principles are observed and professional ethics are maintained. Now, unfortunately so, uh, Nigeria is endowed with uh, a plethora of laws, no doubt about that. Yet, it is inad inadequate respect or scanty regard for the rule of law still persists with all the laws in place. Impunity, therefore, it's, 
it thrives and flourishes all over from top to bottom. Why? Because even those who are meant to lead by example are not leading or showcasing exemplary leadership. Frankly speaking, what is required, I would say, is not about merely amending or changing existing laws, whether it's for the CBN or any other body organization, but a strict adherence to the latter and actual purpose of the law is what we should what we should actually look into or look at. The act is clear that the CBN uh, governor, the former CBN governor, ought to have vacated the office upon converting various interests that were at variance with that of the office. But he stayed put, preferring to subvert and ridicule the magnified office. It's not easy being a CBN governor. Now, as a matter of fact, this was an exceptionally terrible illustration of administration devoid of a uh, character because there would have been need for one to look into it, think about it before swinging into action. Now, again, I must say it was really intriguing, though, that the delegating authority, who happened to be by name, the former president, Muhammad Buhari, on his own part, he actually kept a gloomy look all through this uh, humiliating and dishonorable period when his CBN governor acted in ways that depicted uh, absence of regard for the respect of the Apex Bank. Buari and Emefele, though, the, CBN, the former CBN governor, continued to meet officially throughout those long stretches of uh, ignominy, raising doubts of a potential intrigue and endorsement of what obviously was a manifestation of illegality, I will call it that way. Now, aside from the law, the delegating authority reserved the administrative mandate to put in check the excesses of a CBN governor. But that did not happen until the Buhari administration expired. Are there no questions to be asked? I want to believe there should be. Why this was allowed to take its course and dock at a particular or birth is ship, or this uh, humiliating period, birth is ship after the exp uh, expiration of the previous administration is another question. Now, that likewise addresses the manner of appointment into the office of the CBN governor. Right now, it appears the inhabitants and the delegating authority can collude to advance egocentrical or egoistical uh, interest, and by doing so, damage the integrity of the office. Now, here is where the oversight of the legislature is actually vital. However, when the legislature introduces itself, as a willing ally of the executive, uh, executive delegating authority. Its oversight function is uh, effectively compromised in some cases. Now, what will be the solution? I want to believe that every other person out there should actually have a thing or two, if not more, to say concerning insulating the CBN Act, and not just the CBN Act, the CBN officials from the helmsman to talk for the to the least staff from politics now might i suggest moving on forward that a part from reforming the laws apart from reforming the laws rather to reduce ambiguities and accidental loopholes more emphasis ought to be on enthroning good character in public office public office ought to be approached with a clean conscience and honorable ambience there are locales where everything necessary of the people who offer to serve is of clean conscience and knowing when to isolate personal interest from that of public interest. And I want to believe someone out there should buy into what I have just suggested in conclusion. It is on that note I draw the curtain on today's episode of Viewpoint, where we discover perspectives and embrace dialogue. I'm your host, Odiawa AI, for Vigil Media as always. You will do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Vigil Media, and also follow us across various social media platforms and download the app to stay informed concerning politics and every other social events that might be of concern to you from the Google App Store and the Apple App Store. Thanks for watching.